from the yin going down, we're going to come up to the yang on the outside now. So, uh, point 20, GB41, gallbladder 41. Lin Shi, attending the crying child. Location facing the outside of the foot at the joint in the upper space between the fourth and little toe. Uses, arthritis, inflammation of the breast, hearing problems, ringing in the ears, irregular menstruation, insufficient breast milk, headaches, rheumatism, perspiration problems, excessive water retention. This point helps balance the yang aspect of the great regulator channel and belt channels. Okay, this point is between the is between the big toes and the, the pinky toes and the fourth toes and you using your index finger running up until you cannot move your finger anymore in between the two bones. Okay? The bone of the small finger is like this. You move it up until you cannot move anymore between the bone and that is the point. Okay? So it's about one inch, uh, one or two inch from the pinky toes up, the small toes. And you can use a big thumb to press right in the between the big, uh, between the bone and the very sensitive point also. And, um, and this point how actually balance the young expert of the great regular channels. And um, you hold that point for a while and you're releasing it. It can balance the energy. Yeah. So the point sometimes you not think that is nothing, but it actually helping a lot. B60, Bladder Meridian. Traditional name, Kan Lun, Elder Brothers Storehouse. Location on the outside of the ankle in the small depression just under and slightly behind the ankle bone. Press straight into the side of the foot. Uses, sciatic neuralgia, lumbar pain, leg paralysis, headaches. This point is opposite of the inner angle, is the two point. You move your leg this way, okay? That means you press your leg inward. You press your leg inward a little bit, you find that point. When you put it in normal, the point is like closing. It becomes a tendon and muscle tight. But when you move in it like this, you find a point there. A, a little bit more to the back. Yeah. yeah, a little bit more to the back, yeah. Okay? GB34, gallbladder meridian, Yang Lin Chuan, life tomb spring. Location on the outside of the leg in a hollow below the top of the fibula, slender lower leg bone. Uses rheumatism of the knees, weakness of the legs, pain or paralysis of the legs, soreness after exercise, headaches, abdominal problems, constipation, lower back tension, and extreme fright. So the, um, the gallbladder 41 between the pinky finger and um, pinky toes and uh, fourth toes, right this point, and come up to the, the bladder 60, right under the, the, the ankle. And we come up to the uh, opposite of the one that we did just now is then. Okay? But this one between two bones, okay? It's between two bones. On the top of the fibula, between the fibula bone. So right on the top, in the between these two bones, you, you, when you press down, you find a hole there. So you press down, you find a big hole there. Okay? This point. Between two bones, right on the leg here. On the, under your knee, and you have to find the, between the two, the head of the top of the bone, you press it down. And this is uh, for the leg pain and the tendons, controlling the tendons. The Yang Ling Chuan control all the tendons. And um, this is the point that when you hit, your leg going to paralyze for a while. You feel a talk and energy, no, no flow to the leg. And the people fall down in a second. And this is the point. Next point. She, Windy City. Standing upright with the hands at the sides, the point is located behind the femur, thigh bone, where the middle finger touches the leg. The point is very sensitive to pressure. Para uses his paralysis of the legs, knee joint pain, good energy flow through GB31. Um, good energy flow through GB31 helps release the legs, knees, legs, hips, and back points. Okay, this is the point. When you stand up straight, and when you put the hand on the side, 
the middle finger touches that point and that is the gallbladder 31 okay right in the between the two bands on the muscle right on here and this is the point when the people kick or you've been hit on here the whole leg no, no power it's the big band of attendance this point when you touch it and you feel the flow you're strengthening the leg also the power of the leg is strengthening is in this point GB29 traditional name Chu Liao uh, location at the joint the top of the femur bone in the hip uses disease diseases of the hip joint and surroundings lower leg pain okay this point the socket of your the joint the top the femur bone the socket the round bone right on the top here okay you have to move in the right angle by moving your leg moving your leg uh, moving your leg up and down this way when you move your leg left and right and you fire a right socket you feel a hole there okay. when you move your when you stand standing on, on your right leg and you move your left leg out forward you fire a hole okay and that is the point it's right above the top of your your femur bone B48, traditional name, Pai Huang, round tissue below the diaphragm, uterus, or placenta. Location, two fingers width from the top of the sacrum. The point feels sore. Uses, releases the pelvic area, abdominal problems, constipation, hemorrhoids, prostate gland, and urinary problems. This point is right on the sacrum. Okay, uh, just now the point of the... Uh, of the gallbladder 29 is this part. Oh no, it's this part here. When you move the socket, okay, you move the socket. And now, the the next part is the bladder bladder 48. You see the sacrum, here the sacrum, and here the the hip. It's right on this part. This part also, when you you can you can you can injection on here but you move too high you get pain very painful and the way to fight it is you put your hand right here the sacrum you put your hand from the from the edge of the sacrum two finger and you press right in and you move your leg your your, your hip and your buttock up and down this way when you move this way you feel a hole in there Okay, you move in or, or, or turn your hip in this way, you find a hole over there. Partly on the top of the sacrum, two finger on the side. Two finger on the side. Okay, and you feel that. You feel the part. Okay. B47, traditional name, Chi Shi, room of resolution. Location on the back, halfway around from the lowest rib to the top of the hip bone and halfway between the spine and the side of the body. Uses, abdominal problems, appetite balance, genital problems, prostate, urinary and kidney problems. Good energy flow through B47 strengthens the lower abdomen and releases the lower back. Okay, this point is in between on the side of the door of life. Okay, you find the door of life lumbar 2 and lumbar 3 opposite of the navel and on the side have to be on the same line with the uh, uh, the scapula okay the tip point of the scapula you make a line down or on the on the both side of the muscle band if you put your hand and put your thumb and hold the back this way and you press it in right below the kidney nearly nearly below the kidney you press it in it's a very strong sensational because it's right below the kidney just to put your hand like this there's the band this is the band of muscle going down this way and you press right over there you put the hand on your hip okay and your thumb facing inside and you press it in there and that's the point because it's right below the kidney and this part is strengthening the kidney and the sperm or the ovary also the energy right on, on the back there okay 
And it's a very strong point. B42, traditional name, Hung Men. Location on the back between the ninth and 10th rib, and about two fingers width below the bottom of the tip of the scapula. Uses, stomach pain, liver problems, fullness in the chest, poor digestion, fainting. Pressing this point releases the back and affects the diaphragm. This is a strong point also. It's easy to find. If you have a part partner, get a partner touch on the tip of the, the, the scapula, okay? And uh, shoulder blade, we call it shoulder blade bone. And put the two finger there, and right between that rib cage. And you find that rib cage, okay? You put the two finger right on the scapula bone, the shoulder blade, and between the rib cage, you press it in the between it. And that is the point. Press right between the rib cage, and very strong point. If you have a partner touching it, press a little bit, you feel pain. And it get right deep inside to the, and uh, get right deep into the, uh, the uh, it's getting into the, um, the lung and the liver, that, that area. B38, traditional name, Cao Huang, fat tissue between heart and diaphragm. Location, on the back between the fourth and fifth rib, between the spine and the left scapula. The point feels like a knot of muscular tension and is sensitive to pressure. Uses, circulation and lung problems. Releases the neck, upper back and arms. Respiratory difficulties, coughing, hyperacidity, fatigue. Pressing this point strengthens the entire body. This is a very important point and can be used to treat many diseases. If you find your scapula, okay, and the scapula have a scapula process. This one is called a process. You cut the scapula process to the end. And when you come out from the scapula process and between the ribcage and the spine, right between that point, okay? If you have the people help you touch on that point and rub and press in between the ribcage, it's a very strong, strong point. Uh, in the Chinese, they say when the people are very sick, this point is going to sink down and no energy or block it, energy don't flow. And most people have pain. When I get pain or don't feel well, the first thing I do, I touch that point. That's all. I massage it, I touch it, I massage it, touch it. Painful. You get on, you, you, you find it right on the, um, the spine, uh, the scapula process. Okay? The higher bone, so this part, the scapula process go out. And you're touching on the edge of the scapula. You feel a painful that, way, that area. Massage it until you feel no more pain. Okay. One more point. CW15, triple warmer meridian. Traditional name, Tian Yao, heaven seam. Location, above the shoulder blade toward the side of the neck. Uses, pain in the scapula, back, neck, and fever. This point is right on the top, top corner. Everyone can touch it. You find the, the, the scapula. Here the scapula on the top corner. And it's a very painful point also. All this point that you learn now on the back is very strong, powerful healing and very strong point for hurting people. So right on the top of, of the corner, you find the top of the corner, you press it. Like for me, do it every day, still have painful over there. And all you have to do is press that point, release, massage, and release, press, and release it, and the energy flow. Okay. When you do on the back, if you have people try to help you holding on a paw on the back, you're going to feel a live floating. That's why in the acupressure, the ginseng do, the ginseng shoot do, touch for help, they all use this point around it. You just touch two points and let the energy flow, and you get a lot of healing happen. Or using the mind to flow it. Okay, so let's review what we learned so far on the back. Okay? We started from the leg, coming up between the two, the pinky toes and the fourth toe in the between, and you're coming out under your ankle bone, and coming up on the top of the tibial bone between here, right here. And when you're standing right, touching on the when the middle finger touching on your thigh, and there's a big band of tendons 
tendon. Yeah, it's very powerful one, <laughs> painful also touching it. And on the top of your, of the knot of the bone, okay? On the top here, on the leg, on the top of the leg, bone. And the next one, on the side of the sacrum, two finger out. And the next one is on the side of the door of life, below the kidney. Actually, it's below the kidney. Okay. And the next one, two finger below on the tip, or the tip of the shoulder blade. It's very, all this part is very strong. When you touch it, the energy flow, or some people get belts right away. That means the energy started to move. And the next part on the scapula, uh, on the scapula process, right between the rib case, is about two, uh, the rib case there. And the top corner of the scapula. Okay. We're going to go to the point thirty. SI ten, small intestine meridian. Traditional name: scapulas hollows. Location: on the back on the scapula directly above the armpit and, and joint. Uses, chills, fevers, inability to move the arm, soreness of the arm, hypertension, shoulder pain. Okay, this is very easy to find also. This is your armpit and your scapula, okay? And here the scapula process near your shoulder. And right, over, right above your, your armpit, but still in your scapula area and um, you find a big hole there when you press it down a lot of people have tension about this point mm -hmm. and it's very tensions, uh, tender if you, if you find the point and you just like for me, I still have it because the moving on the shoulder, the tension, the, the uh, nervousness and that's caught the, part, uh, that caught the energy there, there you massage it when you find the point you massage it and lightly touch and when the energy flow you feel the magnetism magnify in your finger and you release the tension often times you do a lot of good things for your life uh, to, for your, your body the, all this point on the back all this part on the back when you're releasing the tensions you do a lot of things a lot of good things for yourself next part SI9, small intestine meridian. Traditional name, John Zen, shoulder chastity. Location, on the back, just above the armpit. Uses, shoulder problems, paralysis of the upper limbs, excessive perspiration in the armpits, pain in the shoulder blades, toothaches, deafness, swelling of the joints. Okay, this point, right above the armpit, it's very simple, okay? Here the armpit, between the two, the shoulder bone and the scapula, okay, right on here. And this is also tendon point also. If you have somebody on the back pushing on a point and massage it a bit and recite a clockwise and counterclockwise, massage it. And when you're releasing it, you feel like a lot of stress, a lot of tensions, gone. Yeah, this is helping a lot. So right between the the shoulder and the scapula right above the armpit and you can find that part right over there next part LI14 large intestine meridian traditional name banal arm and scapula location in the upper arm above the midpoint between the shoulder and elbow uses clears the channels and vision arms and shoulders eye problems Okay, here is a bicep, uh, the del deltoid, the deltoid muscle, and uh, right on the sharp, when the deltoid comes down like this, right on the, the end of the sharp point, there is a point. This point when people hit you, punch you, is so pain, because it's the bone and the muscle and the end of the muscle. It's joining on here, okay, and this is this point. So, uh, and um, get it? It's very simple. Uh, when you raise your hand, you get a muscle band of the of the deltoid. 
and that is the right on the end of it. You press it on that point. Okay. Next point. Li11, large intestine meridian. Traditional name: Kuchi, crooked pool. At the front of the arm, in the inner crease where the forearm joins the upper arm. Uses: cools heat, arthritic pain in the arms, paralysis, hypertension, high fever, anemia, allergies, skin problems. Okay, at this point, um, when you bend your hand, when you bend your hand, and um, the crest, when you bend the hand, and you, you feel a crease there, and you put a finger right there, and you're releasing it out, you get a point. Okay? When you bend the hand, you get a crest, the crease over there. And it's between the tendon and the muscle. So when you stick a finger right in, you feel a hole there. Next point. TW5, triple warmer meridian. Traditional name, Y Juan, outer gate. Location, two fingers width above the wrist on the outside of the arm. Uses, circulates stagnant chi, creates or relieves common colds, high fevers, pneumonia, deafness, insomnia, headache, stiff neck, paralysis. Okay, the white one is two finger from the wrist. Okay, and right in between on the, of the two bone. You put your finger or your on your thumb, press right in, massage it. It right between two bones. Elna and radius bone. The elna and radius bone. And um, that is the part. Next part. P8, pericardium meridian. Traditional name. Lao Gan's Lakor's Palace. Location at the center of the palm. Uses cools the heart, drains heat, heat exhaustion, chest pains. So we come down to the pericardium, the cover of the heart. And the Lao Gong is the right the center of the palm. If you turn if you make your hand this way, that means you curve your middle finger touching your palm. You curve your finger like just just na naturally, just curve it, touch it. The middle finger touch right in the middle of the palm. That's why the nail, that when Jesus uh, uh, <laughs> crucified, a, the nail right in, in, uh, in the Lao Gong, right in the heart. <laughs> the heart and the, the pericardium of the heart. When you send energy, receive energy, it is from this point, the Lao Gong point. MUE12, miscellaneous point. Traditional name, Ni Yang Chi, Inner Yang's Pool. Location, at the center of the inner crease of the wrist. Uses, paralysis, infantile convulsions. So this one, you see your, your wrist, the inside wrist, and you see the two tendons in here? Right on the wrist there. Right on the wrist there, right, oh yeah. Okay. You have two tendons in between and right on the crease of the wrist. P6, pericardium meridian. Traditional name, Ni Guan, inner gate. Location, two fingers width above the inner wrist. Uses, calms the heart and spirit, regulates qi, rheumatic heart disease, vomiting, chest pain, stomach ache. The the Lei Guan and the Lai, and the Wai Guan is the same one. We learned the the white one the outside and the Lei Guan the inside. So the inside is very easy to find between two tendons. It's a two finger from the from the wrist between two tendons. You stick your finger right in, you feel it. Two tendons on the side. Yeah, and that is the part. This part is opposite of the white one. Opposite from the outside. P3, pericardium meridian. Traditional name, Q's, crooked marsu. Location, on the middle of the crease of the inner elbow. Uses, opens heart chi, disperses heat, regulates the intestines, gastrointestinal problems, bronchitis, heat exhaustion. Okay, this one, when you bend and you have a tendon right on the inside of the elbow, <coughs> near the body, inside of the elbow, 
and here the tendon here and you stick the finger right in there or mostly it's between the bone or between the tendons that's the point so right in there on the outside yes outside the tendons okay this is um, this area when you hit is like you chalk right away the hand like electric shot and you power right the hand in a few few seconds sometimes longer last longer yeah. that's in olden time the Tao master or the Kung Fu master they fire all this point and uh, so when they're fighting they want uh, immediate impact and that's all the point they use when they pull a punch they stick right here bum the, the hand down right away it's, um, this is a very that means it's um, it's rather than, than than punching back, which you don't get that much kind of effect. But when you put it on the right point, you get him down. This that means you don't want to hunt him too much. You know? But uh, but uh, the, those the other part like the middle of the collarbone, above the nipple, the rib cage on the side, the armpits. Those is is a killing point. But apparently, it's also is a very powerful healing also. It's a very powerful healing point also. P2, pericardium meridian. Traditional name, Tian Juan, Heaven Spring. Location, next to the armpit in the front of the arm, within the bicep muscles. Uses, cough, palpitations, chest pain. Okay, here the armpit, and here the bicep, and here the deltoid. This painful part also. This hand usually you power the person right away. Okay, this is how they hit the people. They stick when the people punch, they stick a finger right here, the whole hand down. You know, and usually pain for a long time because the tendon. The major part is you have a bicep muscle, and you have a tendon under there, and you have the nerve coming out, and this nerve is correcting into the head, right away straight in here this way. So when you hit here, it paralyzes the hand and the shoulder, and even sometimes to the head. It blocks uh, the, the impulse. And this point, apparently, is very strong, very, very strong point for your pain in this area. Chest pain, cough, you're going to get to this nervous pain. So it's between the uh, near arm pitch, between the bicep, near the deltoid. Yeah. LI, lung meridian. Traditional name, Zong Fu, Central Radiance. Location, on the outside of the upper chest, below the clavicle. Uses, bronchitis, pneumonia, asthma, tuberculosis, coughing, blocked throat, congested nose. This one is right, nearly out, out, uh, on the side, the shoulder, uh, cervical, and the ribcage, right in between there in a hollow one. So when you put your shoulder to the front, you get a big hollow there. Not on the rib case. It's between three. The scap uh, the scap uh, the, the collarbone, the shoulder, the rib case, and when you bend your shoulder to the front, you get a big hole there. Okay? That is the lung one, the first part of the lung. LI sixteen large intestine meridian. Traditional name, Fusu, crest bear. Location, in a hollow of the shoulder at the end of the clavicle. Shoulder problems, dis dispersed blood congestion, convulsions, neck problems. Okay, the, this point, right on the middle of the joint. It's very really painful also, you know, you press it down, stick it down. Really near the end. The end, right on here. Okay, a hole. When you raise a little bit your hand, raise your hand this way, you get a hole. Or put it down. You have to put it down. You get a hole there. You put it down. You get a hole between the scapula, cervical, shoulder. Let me three joint together, and that's the get build a hole out. GB twenty one, gallbladder meridian. Traditional name. Tian Jing, shoulder well. Location, on the shoulder in a hollow of the collarbone near the neck. 
uses, uterine bleeding, back pain, and shoulder pain. This point is where it's most easy to find because when you raise your hand up, okay, raise your hand up, and you get a well there. So they call it a shoulder well. You actually get a well right between the collarbone and the scapula, right on the base of the neck, more to the front, uh, middle of the base of the neck. And you raise your hand up, you get a hole there. And okay, you get a big hole. And right under a muscle band, you stick a finger in, you lose all your, your whole hand and the neck lose power. And that is how they, they grab the people. They grab by shoulder and grab it right on the shoulder well and they twist the tendons and the people cannot move. That is a very, very painful point to get, to, to grab on. They, they what you call the ego crawl. They do the ego crawl, they crawl right on that shoulder well and they grab it. Because the whole thing is that you have all the, all the brachial plexus, the brachial plexus, all the nervous system that going down to the hand, and the nervous system that going down, a lot of nerve going down to the chest, a lot of nerve going down to the back, is spread from here. So when you hold the nerve, you obstruct the flow of electricity, and it, it, it stops. That's all. That's how it, it, it stops that way. MHN41, miscellaneous point. Traditional name, Jingbi, neck and arm. Location, on the side of the neck above the clavicle. Uses, numbness in the arm, paralysis of upper limbs. This part is very powerful also, okay? Right on the base of the neck. You see, the, neck, the base of the neck here, and when you raise your arm, your shoulder up a little bit, right on the base of the neck, and when you raise you up, you have a muscle band over there, and you stick it right between the muscle band there, this part, you stop the guy. That's the, what they, they point out. They stop the person right here. And you stick a needle, uh, stick a finger right in here. It's like a finger right here. And, um, and the, uh, because you have the nerve going into the head, you have the artery, you have the vein going out here, and you twist it or block it, the people fend it. And then let me go to sleep. Because <laughs> they go to sleep right away. This, in this area. Okay? So that is the part. Okay. MHN29, muscle point. Traditional name, Jing Si, new recognition. Location, on the back of the neck between the third and fourth cervical vertebrae. Uses, stiff neck, headaches, sore throat. Okay. This part is right on the middle of the cervical. Okay. If you use your hand, um, use your, all your both palm cover the neck and the finger to the back of the cervical and the middle finger touch on the side and that is approximately that point. Yeah. And uh, it's between the about three and the four cervical, between the three and the four cervical, in the muscle band, you have the muscle band over there. And uh, this point, when your neck pain or when you feel nervous, you can touch the point. It can help you calm down. You should actually is the energy calm, energy flow down back. GB20 gallbladder meridian. Traditional name Fenshi, pool of wind. Location on the back of the neck in the hollow at the base of the skull. Uses hot wind condition, improve hearing and vision, common cold, headache. Stiff neck, hypertension, sinusitis, red eyes, deafness, insomnia. Okay, if you use your palm, cover the back of the neck, and extend your thumb down right on the base of the neck on both sides, on both sides, okay? And you, pr and you feel a hollow right on the base of the neck, use your thumb to massage around that one, that is the point. Usually, when people get headache, massage it and touch it, massage and touch it, the headache gone. It's, it's uh, one of the places that you can release a wind. We call in a in a thousand, we call evil wind. And the evil wind can get up from here, get up from the armpit, 
get up from the navel, get up from the leg, and quite a number of places. We call a wow. We call a wow. You can open it and let the, the sick energy go out. And, uh, and that is one place. But mid, mid forehead is also can go out. And um, palm also can get out. So, and you're coming up again on, on the GB, uh, go back to 19, which not, uh, we're not using that, but it's the, it's the same pattern going up this way. In the same angle with the base of skull coming out, when you come up from there, you feel another hole there. And go from this GV19, go up to GV, GV17, 16, 15, forehead, all the way down. Now we will come up to the top corner of the scapula. And we come up to the, uh, still in the scapula, but near the shoulder and near the armpit. And right between the shoulder and the scapula, right above the armpit. And we're coming down to the end of the deltoid, then end of the deltoid, right in the front of the, the arm. And we come into the, when you bend your hand, you see the crease there, right on the, between the elbow, but outside, between the elbow, but on the outside angle. And between two bones, between the two bones, two fingers from the wrist, outside from the wrist, between the two bones, and come up to the palm, and come up into between two wrists, uh, two, two fingers from the uh, wrist, between two tendons. Now we come up into the inside elbow, and the part is outside the tendons on the on the tendon that near your body. And come up near the armpit on the top of the bicep. The bicep that near the deltoid. And when you fit the finger in, there are two muscles separate now. The muscles separate out on the, on the side. And from there we come up to the lung point between the, the cavicle between the shoulder and the ribcage, right on the between of, of all three. And we jump up to the, uh, between the cervical bone, the scapula, and the shoulder, right to the end of, of, the, of, the, of the tip of it. Okay, you feel a hole there. And we come down to the shoulder well, you lift up your shoulder, lift up your, your sh shoulder, and you're gonna feel a big hole, like a well, you can actually put the water there. They show the well. And now we come up to the, uh, right on the base of the neck. The base of the neck, when you put your shoulder down, you feel a big hole also. And right on the base of the neck, and you get a big band muscle, right between the big band and muscle. When you come up to the neck, the middle of the neck, and we come down to the base of the skull. Yeah. The, um, I'm going to guide you through and I'm going to help you. Once you get it, you don't have to memorize the points. You just get the, you just start the point and feel the flow energy and you get it. Believe me, uh, you don't have to memorize every single point and don't have to be examining the point. The whole thing in the olden time that it is is the flow, that's all. <laughs> And when and, and later on, they give out a more specified. And to us now, we give you more picture, specify and detail. And that's all. In the olden time, when I learned, Master said the energy flow from here is on the, on a both on the both side of the body and go down to the leg and come back on the back, in the, in, in the side like this. So, when you actually open, you become a three uh, on the back, on the front you go down three lane. You see, the middle functional and on both sides go down this way. And you go down. And you come back up, it's also three lanes. You have the governor, that is the spinal cord, and the both sides. And that's how the energy flow. And that's all you need to do. You need to do the flow down and flow up. All you have to do is aware of it and use your mind to guide the energy flow. 